Hi folks, hope you're okay today. We're doing uh, 10 videos on this uh, book uh, called God's Philosophers and we're picking up on page 2. It says William Manchester in his 1993 book A World List Only by Fire A World Lit Only by Fire describes the period as a, uh, a, a of, of the Middle Ages of incessant war for corruption, lawlessness, obsession with strange myths and almost impenetrable blindness. Charles Freeman wrote The Closing of the Western Mind 2002 that this was a period of intellectual stagnation. He continued, it's hard to see how mathematics, science or their associated disciplines could have made any progress in this atmosphere. Closely coupled to the myth that there was no science worth mentioning in the Middle Ages is the belief that the church held back what meagre advances were made. The idea that there is an inevitable conflict between faith and reason owes much of its force to the work of 19th century protagonists such as the Englishman Thomas Huxley 1825-95 and the American John Draper 1811-82. Huxley famously declared extinguished theologians extinguish theologians lie about the cradle of every science as the theologians lie about the cradle of every science as the strangled snake besides that of Hercules. Draper was a participant in the notorious debate between debate on evolution between Huxley and the Bishop of Oxford, Samuel Wilberforce, eighteen o five to seventy three. In 1860, when the question arose of whether Huxley was descended from an ape on his mother's side, father's side, Draper wrote, wrote the massive influential history of the conflict between religion and science, which cemented the conflict hypotheses into the public imagination. Basically, what he's saying there is this denigration of the Middle Ages as the Dark Ages, a lot of it's due to 19th century historiography that demonized the Middle Ages because it didn't like religion very interesting page two we'll look at some more